Hello, my name is Aaron Thomas, and um, I'm doing my end of course project on Jacob Lawrence. He is um, a very well known African American painter. Uh, he was born on September 7, 1917, and he died June 9, 2000. And uh, I was a very prominent African American painter, and um, I chose this topic because, or this person, because um, it's something I'm not, not too familiar with. Uh, you know, the art side of African American history and um, it was something different. So I chose this as my project and I hopefully I learned a lot about Jacob and, you know, his talent and what he was able to do for African American culture. So Jacob Lawrence was an African American painter, interpreter, and storyteller, and he was best known for his paintings about um, African American life. Um, at just 23 years old, he created the Migration Series, which was that, that very well-known collection that, um, you know, was about the the migration of African Americans from the South to the North. And um, he married uh, Gwendolyn Knight, at, um, who he was with for his entire life. Um, she was also an artist, and he served in the United States Coast Guard during World War II which was when he came up with the war series. And um, those paintings are, are um, were not able to be saved as they were all destroyed during that time. Here's a few of the paintings from Jacob Lawrence's migration series. To this point, I've learned uh, a lot so far about Jacob and um, what he's brought to, to art um, overall, let alone to African-American um, artists and him being widely recognized as one of the most well-known. Um, he was very well-known for, uh, for two different uh, series of arts that he released. One was the Migration Series, which was um, you know a series of 60 uh, panel uh, migration series uh, that was about the great migration of African Americans from the rural south to the north. And um, that was probably his well known, his most well known work, as well as his uh, war series, which um, all those paintings are no longer, they've been lost as he, he made those paintings after he was drafted into um, United States Coast Guard during World War II. So those paintings he actually made while he was um, fighting in the war. So none of those are that were recovered or anything, but he was uh, most known for for, um, for that migration series and something that that helped boost his career really, um, you know, got him a lot of national recognition. So, um, as noted before, his painting style was really about, um, you know, just just uh, telling the story through his work about African Americans' uh, everyday life, and um, he concentrated on the history and the struggles of African Americans, and um, you know, he he had some some pieces that were talked about very important periods during African American history. When he was twenty one. He um, or excuse me, his series of paintings of the Haitian general Toussaint Louverture, who led the revolution of slaves, eventually gained independence, was shown with other African American artists at the Baltimore Muse Museum of Art. And uh, it was very impressive work, and he followed that by a series of paintings for, um, you know, that, that, uh, that represented Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman, as well as uh, the abolitionist John Brown. Um, and so in 1971, he accepted the uh, 
position as a professor at the University of Washington. And he taught there until uh, 1986 when he retired. After retiring, he spent the rest of his life painting commissions and, and doing special limited edition uh, paintings. Uh, many of them were to help fund nonprofit organizations. And he also uh, painted um, a few murals, murals, um, one for the Herald Center in Chicago, as well as one for Howard University and one for the University of Washington. And uh, he also did a 72 foot mural for Times Square subway station in New York City. And uh, he just had a love for painting and for creating art. And he did it literally until weeks before his death. Overall, um, I'm glad I did this project on Jacob Lawrence. I learned a lot about um, art as well as, uh, you know, some of the African-American uh, artists that he, uh, he, were, he did work with and he met while uh, in school and they went on to be very successful as well. And, uh, you know, I just learned that Jacob, he, he had that, that early love for art as a, as a young child. And, uh, it was something he just stuck with, and um, you know he was very well known for for uh, his modern um, illustrations of pretty much his everyday life of um, you know African Americans as well as uh, historical figures, and and really just uh, his art told stories about the things that went on in everyday life, and uh, yeah, he was very successful. He went on to to uh, teach for 15 years at the University of Washington. And uh, some of his uh, most well-known paintings are there in the halls at the University of Washington, as well as in some of the most well-known museums across the country. So um, he was definitely prominent in his, uh, you know, in his field and, and was a prominent figure um, in African-American culture.